So why don't the astrophysicists and cosmologists think about the possibility or talk about the possibility that these objects are plasmoids and not almost black holes, or what they prefer to call black holes? Don't they know that objects in space have strong electrical and magnetic fields? Well, they do. But the problem is they're not figuring it right. They're using an approximation that is easy to calculate that is called magnetic hydrodynamics, or MHD for short. This is an approximate way of calculating electrical and magnetic fields that was invented by Hannes Alfein, who won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1970, back over 50 years ago for dense plasmas like the plasma in our own sun. The problem is they're using them for plasmas that MHD is completely invalid for. And Alfein, in his Nobel lecture, criticized astrophysicists 50 years ago for using MHD where it is not an appropriate approximation. And he said, they're creating pseudoplasmas with pseudo theories. And he joked, unfortunately, the plasma doesn't know about these theories and absolutely does not obey them. The reason MHD doesn't apply is because in a plasma that isn't very dense, and this object like M87 is not very dense, it's less dense than the air I'm breathing right now. Powerful magnetic fields force charged particles like electrons or protons to move around magnetic field lines. So they're trapped on the magnetic field lines. And collisions are relatively unimportant. So that means that the ability of currents to travel along the field lines is very high. So there's very good conductivity along field lines and very poor conductivity across field lines. It's very hard to move across the magnetic field. In MHD approximation, it's exactly as equal to move across or along. So this is so different, you get completely wrong answers. And one of the indications you get a completely wrong answer is astrophysicists have been scratching their heads for decades about to try to explain one of the most prominent phenomena that these condensed objects produce. At all scales, from stars up to these huge objects, these condensed objects produce jets of energy, electromagnetic energy, that come out in tightly collimated beams. And MHD doesn't explain that. And the reason is, it's the wrong theory. But we've actually observed such beams in experiments in the laboratory for the last 50 years. The cosmologists have ignored these experiments because they feel their theories that are developed for the great cosmos don't have anything to do with experimental uh, results. And you can see, even today, 50 years after Alfain criticized this, papers being published that don't refer to laboratory results. Accelerating Advanced Fusion Energy